1959, you could count the number of extreme left-wingers in the Labour Party, certainly on two hands. <laughs> there are perhaps seven or eight of them. We knew who they were. We all rather thought that this was just an example of the eccentricity of British politics that it allowed that kind of thing. The so-called Tribune. Was, yes, uh, yes, uh, and in a way was uh, rather proud that this thing happened. Now, uh, after the last election, there are more than 80 of them. The one thing about left-wing politicians is they're always fanatical. They never let go. It's their religion. They go on and on. And although they are a minority of the Labour Party, about 80 to 100 out of some 300, they tend to dominate them in view. It's the left wing that I think has led the policies of the Labour Party. And your social democrats have not really argued with them, although they've been in the majority, they've not been in the ascendancy. <laughs> that takes me back. <laughs> Does it take you back, or is what's old is new? Um. I mean, one part of what she was saying was in one sense true, uh, which was that there was a real move to change the Labour Party towards the end of the 70s, early 80s. Yeah, no, the interesting thing is now, what she was describing, that wave of sort of leftism, has actually succeeded this time in taking over Has the returned and has ascended. I mean, yep. Jeremy, Jeremy Corbyn wants to nationalize industries. He wants to nationalize water. He wants to nationalize rail. He wants to pull out of NATO. These are all things that you were dramatically and diametrically opposed to the values and the positions that you stood for. How do you understand that now? <laughs> I don't know if I understand it. I mean, I don't <laughs> like it. <laughs> but, but you can see this again right around the Western mm. world, is the rights become captured by a sort of nationalistic, um, quite narrow-minded type of right-wing politics, and the left has moved further to the left. And, you know, that's, that's characterized by two things, a hostility to Western policy in, in, in foreign policy terms, and in domestic terms, uh, the debates in Britain might abolish tuition fees, nationalize this, you know, socialism, bring it, bring it back. And, you know, this is, these are, this is a big debate we're going to have to have because in my view, if the Labour Party carries on in this way, it's going to really struggle to win. In the end, if you want to defeat the populism of the right, you've got to have a strategy and a program that allows you to win and to govern effectively. And we do need radical change today. We are going to face a technological revolution that is the 21st century equivalent of the 19th century industrial revolution. It's going to change everything. And you know, these are the challenges that are going to shape the future. And if we want to defeat the populism of the right, we've got to block off their attack on issues like immigration, and then we've got to develop an agenda that really rises up to the scale of that challenge.